Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here. Yesterday, Adobe updated all of its Creative Cloud applications, which of course means lots of new features, but it also means a little bit of a headache for panel developers. Many of you were using the Easy Panel in the last version of Photoshop, and with this new version of Photoshop, the panel still works, but we have to install it differently. Photoshop or Adobe are actually phasing out Extension Manager in favor of using their in-house add-on option. Since the Easy Panel isn't available in the add-on store, I'm going to show you how to install the new Easy Panel 2015. Firstly, we'll look at how to do it automatically through Extension Manager, which is still alive. And secondly, we'll look to do it manually. Now, I'm only going to show you how to do this on the PC because I don't have access to a Mac. So if you're a Mac user and you install this manually, please feel free to upload a video to YouTube showing people how you did it and I'll add the link to your video in the description of this tutorial and I'm sure a lot of Mac users will be very grateful for that. Now to begin with we have the new easy panel here and I'm just going to extract it in the normal way and we're left with this folder easy panel 2015 and you'll see here an option that says auto install EP 2015. If you have Extension Manager open and to the left you have Products and you can see Photoshop CC 2015 64, then you're one of the lucky ones. That means you can actually do the auto install. And all you need to do is choose Install and click on Auto Install. And accept that, Install, and you'll see the extension will appear here, fully installed. It will say Easy Panel CC 2014. That's just because we haven't changed the name yet, but it'll still function in Photoshop 2015. Once you have Photoshop open, we just go to Window, Extensions, and Easy Panel. And there you'll see the Easy Panel just like before. Now, if you're not fortunate and you have to do it manually, then we'll close Photoshop and we'll remove this from Adobe Extension Manager. Now, Instead of going to auto install, we go to manual install. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky for Mac users because you're gonna be using a different directory than what I'm using and I haven't tested it out yet on that. So if it does work and you do upload a tutorial showing people how to install it manually, I'll be extremely grateful. Now to install it manually, we're just gonna right click and extract this just as we did before. With this folder, you can see it has all of our contents that we need. We're just going to right click on the manual install folder and we're just going to choose copy there. Then we go to my computer, C drive, program files times 86 or you might have to go to program files. I'm going to go to program files times 86. Then to common files, then Adobe, CEP, extensions and I'm going to right click and paste my file here. Now that I've done that, if I open up Photoshop, it'll be there. But some of you won't have this file or this directory available to you. So instead, we're going to have to create it manually. And to do that, we just go to right click and go to new folder and type CEP all in capital letters. Then we double click on CEP and we create another new folder called extensions. And now we have our new folders set up. So we need to go back to the easy panel file that we had before. I believe it was this one. I have too many things open. Press copy and copy it into extensions and press continue. And now when we open up Photoshop and we go to window extensions, you'll see the easy panel again. Okay, I hope that helped you get over this little hurdle. And again, to all you Mac users, if someone wants to create a tutorial, I'll be very, very grateful for that. So thank you for your time, and I hope you continue to enjoy using the Easy Panel.